are going to be doing the one marker challenge. Sirens over here. Woo woo! I just closed my eyes and picked this color. I honestly was not happy with that color. Secretly, I wanted a blue, but I pursued Ford and kept the color anyways. I decided I was going to do it, and I knew what I was going to draw before I picked the color out. Side note real quick, I did see some other artists use rubbing alcohol to mix with a watercolor brush to dilute the color so you can have different shades. However, I did not have rubbing alcohol and I tried using hand sanitizer instead. <laughs> okay, so I'm drawing a snail and a bunny, a magical bunny riding a snail. Kinda reminds me a little bit of SpongeBob, but we're going with it. We're going with it, okay? Before we get too much into the line work, I just wanted to let you all know, my name is Kat Kinway, and this is my art channel called Artsy Fartsy Magic. Okay, so I'm keeping the line work pretty simple. I'm not going too realistic in this sketch. I really just wanted to do this for fun to see what I could do with only one color as an experiment. I've been working with different color palettes lately and I'm like, that helped out. So why not the one marker challenge? That has to help me out. That has to teach me something. I'm not sure if I learned anything to be honest. But yay, doodling! So my undiagnosed ADHD is sidetracking me into thinking about the Love is Blind season two finale with Shane and Natalie's wedding. Y'all, Shane has to be cracked out, am I right? I mean, just let me know if you believe it too. I mean, his eyes, the crazy eyes, man. He has them, he has them. I've seen it in the art, I'm a nurse. There's just nothing like reality TV and pointless drama that is not yours that you can watch. This is my first page on my new Strathmore art journal. It's mainly watercolor paper. I mean, it is watercolor paper, but you can use acrylic and gouache on it. So I guess it's not just watercolor. I don't know why it says watercolor when it's basically mixed media. But we're not gonna talk about that. Um, it is 48 pages, the whole book skis. Technically, I said my first page, but I have a welcome page and then I have the drawing, the first drawing. Does that make sense? I cannot wait for next week's video. I already started on it. I started drawing Dorothy from the Golden Girls and <laughs> I just think she looks so adorable. Okay, so this is where I wanted to add a background and I decided to add some clouds and stars. I also realized that my camera kept disposing video footage I was getting because my storage was full and I didn't realize it because it would record for a few seconds and I would just keep drawing. And then when I was done with that, I would try to stop it and realize that it was never recording. So that's why I'm doing the background so I could have more footage. Meh. Also, I kind of wanted to throw in here the brand of my watercolor alcohol-based marker is not the best. Obviously, it's a cheap one from Michaels called Artist Loft. It's very inexpensive for the kind of brushes that I probably should have bought, like Cala Art or Prismacolor or Copic. I'm new to watercolor in general. It's a medium that I'm not familiar with and a medium that I want to get to know. I am more familiar with acrylic painting, but I really just wanted to feel more comfortable with watercolor markers because it's actually, I feel like, easier to paint with that than watercolor itself. But I also want to get into watercolor itself. I just feel like it's a better bridge from acrylic painting to watercolor alcohol-based markers to watercolor paint and eventually gouache. I want to try out gouache. I don't have any paints in gouache, so that's eventually on my bucket list to do. We gotta use the materials that we got. Oil painting is also on my bucket list, but it's kind of expensive. Painting is expensive in general. Art is an expensive hobby. I don't care if you disagree with me that you can only have a pencil and a sketchbook. 
that's a lie. Every artist wants their own stuff. They want the rainbow of supplies and it's never ending. All of our studios probably look like little art stores because we just keep hoarding all these materials. But honestly, this was really hard to do with one color. I had a hard time trying to shade and lighten. I would say this was definitely one of those occasions where you think, piece of cake. And then when you actually do it, you're just struggling the whole time and you realize that it's not a piece of cake and now you have to finish it and suffer. You know what I mean, not actually suffer physically, just suffer mentally, where we all suffer. God, that's sad. <laughs> now I'm doing a fun design on this snail shell because I was getting bored with the shading. I was like, you know what? Let's do some crisscross applesauce, baby. Let's get into this. Let's, let's use this tip of the marker. Let's get creative. <laughs> So I thought this was funny when I showed my best friend the finished drawing, she told me that the snail shell looked like human muscle. <laughs> and I didn't see it when I was drawing it, but when she told me after I drew it and I started looking at it, I was like, you know what? She's right. The snail shell. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Snail shell, snail shell, snail shell, snail shell, snail shell, snail shell. Snail shell. The snail shell does look like human muscle. And you know what? I accept that and I am proud of my work. Another topic that my best friend and I were talking about is nails. Nails for your videos. Would you rather watch someone with their nails done or not at all? I believe that I would rather watch someone who has their nails done versus not. I mean, I looked at the video that I posted last week and I only had a little bit of like shimmer on my nails from nail polish and ew. <laughs> I did not like them at all. So I made sure for this video, I had some blue gel nails on. I did them myself, so obviously they're not super professional. It's better than nothing. I don't know, I'll be getting some fancy nails done soon for vacation. Which color should I get? Let me know in the comments. We're going to the beach, y'all. Can you tell I'm excited? I need a break. From work, from life, Basically everything. I believe vacations are great to reset and recharge your mind and to just keep you on the right track. Now, if you don't have money for a vacation, that sucks, I, I'm sorry. But just keep saving. You know, I've been saving for a few months. Use that tax money. Invest in an experience. Now, I'm not saying go blow your life savings on a vacation. I'm just saying there are deals out there. For example, if you wanna get a flight from let's say Chattanooga to Destin, Florida, make sure that you buy the tickets the first time you look them up. That is the best time and best price you will ever get those tickets because it's a sales tactic. The site knows that you were looking up those tickets. They know that you're gonna come back and look for those tickets if you don't do it the first time that you look at it. So there's a tip there for you if you ever wanna get some cheap plane tickets. The same goes for hotels or Airbnbs. If you don't buy it the first time you look it up, that is the cheapest it will ever be. If you look it up again, it's just gonna go higher and higher and higher. So when you're ready to book a vacation, you better book that vacation. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, yes, we are still doing the background with my fun squiggly abstract lines. What? That's right, I am so original. What else is new in my life? Okay, a few things. Definitely my book is not on track. It's, I am not going to finish it by the end of April or May. I don't know why I thought I was so ambitious about that. I basically pulled out the first 10 pages out of my ass. And then I was like, you know what? I can finish this. I can persevere. No, nah, -uh, honey. I am literally on page 27. We are not even halfway there. So looks like it's gonna be a whole year's process. Hopefully I wanna have it done before my niece is born in July, but who knows? Shout out to you, baby Rosalind. <sighs> I just love that name. 
I'm just saying this one marker challenge was no joke. It was pretty hard to determine where to put the color at. And obviously the hand sanitizer mixture to lighten it and to make different shades did not work. Obviously the variations in the shades are not the, not the best. I made sure the bunny was lighter than the snail the pin, I believe, helped finish the look out. I'm not sure if that's cheating, but I saw someone else do it, so I don't think it's cheating. I also have been taking a break from social media. I believe that I'm getting a little burnt out from it. The only social media that I've been president is YouTube, and I've been posting once a week on Wednesdays. I know my banner says Wednesdays and Saturdays, but I'm getting burnt out. So I'm only doing one video a week on Wednesdays and I'm just trying to refocus and recenter myself and really remember why I started this channel in the first place, which is art and being creative. I've been trying to get more into books as well. Right now I have Audible and I love listening to books and the one that I've been listening to is called In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts, Close Encounters with Addiction by Gaber Mate. He's an MD and specializes in psychiatry when it comes to addiction and it really makes you look at it in a different perspective. I haven't finished it yet, but I will let you know my full opinion on it when I'm done with it. But but ooh, look at that tape. Oh, so satisfying. Look at it. Oh, oh, here's the final product. Look at that magical bunny right in that snail. I'm going to end this on a magic quote. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.